Uh, Alright, what's up y'all? It's Elliot the Maniac back at it again with another episode. And this episode is on, you know what it is, but the five reasons why. And this five reasons is based on five reasons why it's good to actively read on a daily basis. Alright y'all, welcome to my show. This is Elliot the Maniac. Let's get it. And here are the five reasons why it's good to actively read a book on a daily basis. Let's get it! Reason number one, reading improved your mood. Have you ever been in a space where you was really stressed out and all you wanted to do was read a good book to improve your mood? I know from my experience, whenever I want to actually get away from tensions or whatever else, if I don't have the gym or I don't pray or whatever else, I like to read a good book. And usually a good book helps improve your mood. Reason number two. Reading a book improves your creativity. Now how does it improve your um, creativity? I'm glad you asked. It improves your creativity by basically putting your brain function to work. So while you bring your brain function to work, you start thinking of more creative ideas because you're exercising your mind. It's, remember, your brain is a muscle. So when you're reading, you're exercising that muscle, building it up, and creating new ideas. Reason number three. <laughs> I find this one funny because it's like when you're reading a book, you know, you pick up on even like some self-help books. You pick up on some words that you're not used to. And, you know, it's stored in your memory bank. Now, when you start talking to people fluently or whatever, you just start conversing with someone, that's when the words that you read starts to come out. And they're looking like, hmm, you seem very educated. And you're thinking in your head like, hmm, I don't even know where this came from. Reason number four, you begin to think from an optimistic standpoint. One of the greatest things about reading a book is that it opens up your mind not only cre to creative things, but it opens up your mind to greater things that's possible. So that's why it's another good reason to, to read a book actively and daily. And the final reason is... <laughs> reason number five. You travel without traveling. And what does he mean traveling without traveling? You travel without traveling. Say, for example, if you're reading like a Harry Potter book, you know, or... Any other book that takes place in London or, you know, Africa, Asia, or wherever, you're reading about the atmosphere, the settings of the particular book. And as you're reading the settings of the book, it's taking you on a bit of a travel. What would you say? Like, it's basically traveling without traveling. So you're traveling without having to pay a plane ticket, a bus ticket, or any other ticket to go to the place you need to go in the book. Elliot the Maniac with five reasons why it's good to read a book actively daily. All right? And that's it. I'm out of here. This is Elliot the Maniac. Thank you for tuning into my show. Peace. Oh, yeah. Don't forget. Live safely, live heavily, and live with purpose. And one more thing. If I can do it. You can do it too. This is Elliot the Maniac. Back at it with another episode. Signing off. And I'm out of here. Peace. The Maniac. Who is this guy? I need answers. I need answers now.